All right, let's take a look at question six. In question six, we are being assessed on how to calculate the compound interest when you have n times per period. Question six reads, Julia deposits $2,000 into a savings account that earns 4% interest per year. The exponential function that models this savings account is y equals 2,000 times 1.04 raised to the t power, where t is the time in years. Question, which equation correctly represents the amount of money in her savings account in terms of the monthly growth rate? All right, so to do this problem, we're going to take a look at two formulas, okay? The formula for exponential growth rate when you have um, the time period being annually, like one time a year, and then we're going to take a look at what the formula is if it's compounded n times per year, okay? All right, so let's look at the formulas real quick. This is for exponential growth models. If you have once a year, the formula is going to be y equals a times 1 plus, since this growth is going to be plus, 1 plus r raised to the t. Okay? So this is once a year. Now, if it's compounded n number of times a year, um, the formula will be slightly different. Okay? So it could be quarterly, which is um, four times a year. It could be um, biannually, which is twice a year, or it could be monthly. Okay? Monthly, you have 12 months in a year. In this particular case, it says monthly, so we're looking at 12 times per period because we have 12 months in one year. So, in that particular situation, we're going to be using the formula y equals a times 1 plus the interest rate over n raised to the nt. This is for a situation where it's compounded n times a year per period, n times a year. In this particular scenario, the f original function, this one that's given right here, you can easily see that this formula is what is used to generate it. So let me show it to you real quick. So um, A is the initial amount, which is one uh, 2,000. The growth rate R is um, 4%. So we have to change that into decimal, which is uh, 0 0.04. You move the decimal place two times, two places to the left. Okay? And the time t is equal to t. So using, so if you're doing it once a year, uh, once a year, you're going to have y equals a, which is 2,000. One second. Um, y equals 2,000 times 1 plus uh, 0 0.4, which is 1.04, raised to the t power. All right? So we can clearly see that this exponential growth model that we have right here is consistent with the original function. Okay? But there is a slight change. We're looking at what the situation is if we have... 12 times a year or for t monthly all right so this is annually now let's look at the setup for monthly and that will be the answer to this question so for monthly uh, we're going to use a different formula we're going to use y equals a times 1 plus r over n raised to the nt in this one for annually once a year we had y equals a times 1 plus r to the t. Okay, so in this particular setup right here, let's list the, the knowns and unknowns. So uh, the starting amount a is still 2000. The rate is still the same, 4%. If you convert it to decimal, it's 0 0.04. You move the decimal point two places to the left. Time t is t. And then n in this case, which wasn't present before, is 12 because we have 12 times per the periods, 12 months in a year, which is a period, okay? So if we substitute all that into the formula, um, we're going to have y equals 2,000 times 1 plus uh, 0 0.04 over 12 
raised to the 12 t okay and if you just look at the setup we have right here you can automatically see that the correct answer is option number three all right but let me just put in the calculator and then you can see how it simplifies this component that's been exponentiated can be simplified using a, a calculator so let's do that we're going to have 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12 okay so it's 1.0033 so we can just run it to 1.0033 so it's going to be y equals 2000 times 1.0033 raised to the 12 t and we can clearly see that the answer to number six is option number three okay so this is basically how we use the two formats for um, an exponential growth model